to send me sunshine. I'm in the office today with the lovely Celia who's packing all your lovely orders. Thank you so much for all your orders as always. It means the world to me and the rest of the team. And Jenny is doing the filming for us today and has organised the video for us as well. Um, most likely with Celia's input as well. So I'm just talking about what they've put together for us today and what it is is it's really exciting it's our most latest dead stock drop so we had a really big delivery um, from Italy a couple of weeks ago um, which was so exciting so we got all of the rolls of fabric that we've been um, buying over the last few months and it all arrived so um, this is some of them that we're going to put up online for you guys and I thought it'd be really helpful to show them to you on video and also we've got some patterns to pair with them just to give you a bit of an idea and some inspiration for your sewing makes. So this is the first fabric we're going to show you today. It's this really beautiful blue colour and then if you look really carefully it's got a lovely floral print design and then it's got these little china teapots all over it which I absolutely love. I'm a huge fan of tea for anyone that knows me really well. I'm always drinking tea and I quite like it because it's almost got that kind of like you know the china with the like the blue and white print this is what this reminds me of with the colourway. It's a viscose. Um, it's quite, it's not a heavy weight, it's like medium weight viscose. So it's not as light as what you'd expect with um, a viscose lawn, but it's not as heavy as a viscose twill. It's something in between. It's completely opaque and it has a lovely drape, which is what you'd expect with um, a viscose fabric. And because of the teapot does it print on the fabric, it does have a directional print. But um, it's a nice wide fabric, so um, even though it is directional, you still would get um, a lot out of the fabric. Um, so this would work really well for a dress um, or even um, a shirt or a top because it does have a little bit of structure to it um, as well as the drape. I personally would go for like something like a shirt dress and the team picked out today the Rita dress by Named Patterns. It's a lovely dress you can see there on the line drawing and this fabric would just work so well with it and it would be perfect for um, the slightly warmer weather we're having and again very transitional as well. So this is the next fabric for you. So this again is a viscose, um, but it's a viscose crepe. So it's got that classic crepe-like texture from the way it's been woven. And then it has this really subtle um, kind of creamy print in the background and then this gorgeous big floral design. We were just discussing what the background colour is. So it is almost like a blush, but it's got like a kind of purple undertone to it. So it's almost like a light mauve blush colour. Very, very pretty. Um, really beautiful fabric that would be perfect for the wedding season. I know that lots of you um, are heading to weddings this summer just because um, Jenny was saying that when she did a call out on social media to find out what you guys wanted some um, fabric inspiration for different makes a lot of you said you had weddings to go to so this would be a really perfect fabric for making um, an outfit for going to a wedding um, but you could also make yourself like a little blouse and a pair of jeans to dress it down but we just thought it'd make a lovely dress and uh, the pattern we picked out today is the Nina Lee Q dress um, which would work really well in, in both different versions and would be perfect for the warm weather. So this is another viscose substrate for you but this one is a viscose lawn so it's really soft to touch and it almost has like a silk like handle and it's got a really beautiful drape. It's really fluid movement and it's quite delicate. So it's really lovely against the skin. It's so nice and soft. I wish you could reach through and feel it. Um, it is such a pretty print. So it's got this really obviously very colorful floral design. And if you look really closely, it's got um, birds as well let me find it and I'll try and put it up for you guys 
Um, so there's some of the birds there. So they're quite small. Um, and you kind of see them well, on the second look to, of the fabric because first of all you see the floral design and then you see the birds so I think that's quite fun it does have um, a light coloured background and because it's lightweight it is very slightly sheer so it's something to bear in mind again I probably wouldn't bother lining it but I know some of you out there probably would like to so that's something to bear in mind now you could definitely use it to make a dress or a blouse or a shirt it'd be really lovely to wear in the warmer months just because it's nice and lightweight and soft against the skin and the team today picked out um, a shirt and it's the Olya shirt by Paper Theory it's one of our favourites here at Somi Sunshine and um, I listened to Tara do a talk at the sewing weekend a few years ago and um, she was saying she really enjoyed making this pattern because she, she enjoyed all the technical steps um, through it and she spent a long time designing it as well so it's really lovely pattern to sew, really rewarding at the end of it and I just can see this as that would work really lovely um, and pair with like some high-waisted jeans would work really well throughout all the um, spring months to come so this is another viscose for you, but this is again different from the other viscoses I've shown you. Then that's one of the best things about whenever we've got these high-end X designer dead stock fabrics is that even if a lot of them are cotton or viscose, they all have different weaves, so they're really really special. And this is what we'd call um, a viscose jacquard. So it's got to the weight of like. Um, kind of like a medium weight viscose so it's not as heavy as a twill but not as light as a lawn and what we refer to the jacquard element it's because if you look really closely um, there's a pattern that has been woven in the background so it's the same color as the beautiful navy um, background but the pattern is slightly raised and it's got sheen to it as well so it almost you see it if it catches the light um, you'll see the pattern so really really pretty um, very special as well we don't normally get these these sort of fabrics from um, just our standard wholesalers and we all know that I love a floral print uh, it's got this gorgeous big 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 floral print over it that's my hand there for scale um, it is slightly sheer if you put it up to the light but again I, I, I wouldn't personally line it just because it's got this really lovely dark coloured background and I think because of the dark coloured background it really makes the floral design pop as well so like all viscoses, it's got a lovely drape, um, nice fluid mo movement. So again, would be perfect for a dress or a blouse that requires um, a fabric with drape. And the dress that the team picked out today is the Deer and Doe Coquelico. Yeah, they're all saying I said that right. They were laughing because I couldn't pronounce it. <laughs> Um, so yeah really pretty love the ruffle um, neckline uh, this would work really well to um, for the ruffles because of the weight of the fabric and again this would work really well as um, a dress for a special occasion over the summer like a wedding you could make the uh, full length one or if you wanted something a bit more casual you could go for a, the slightly shorter length and yeah it would work, lend itself really well to any dress pattern that requires a drapey fabric this is the next fabric again a viscose substrate but again a different weave so this is a viscose satin so it's got that really smooth silk like finish on the right side and it's nice and soft on the reverse it's got a really beautiful fluid drape and movement it is lightweight as well so the he the weight of it is similar to like a cotton lawn I really I'm a massive fan of green at the moment and it's got this really pretty like sage green um, background and then it's covered in this really bold painterly effect floral design that is my hand there for scale it's really pretty um, again I personally wouldn't line it but just to 
no actually because all the widths are slightly different with these um, X designer fabrics but this one is a little bit narrower than what we normally have so this I've just measured is just over 120 wide so it's not as narrow as like um, what you find with the 110 112 but obviously it's not as uh, wide as obviously what we find with our 150 centimeter viscoses so you might need a little bit more for the pattern that you choose to make now with this one I would be very tempted to make myself a dress it would just um, really show off the print um, to the fullest by making a dress and the team um, picked out the Savannah by Tille Jupe um, if I turn it over there's the line drawing for you so it's a lovely wrap dress perfect for the warm weather and again would work really well um, for a special occasion over the summer months um, but I'd totally wear this just uh, in the middle of the day um, out and about I really really like this one I just love the oranges against the green so this is another viscose fabric for you. This one is a viscose lawn, but it's a very lightweight viscose lawn. So it's got that lawn soft texture from the way it's been woven. And because it's lightweight, it's got a very fluid drape. Now I was just noticing because of the, um, the lightness of the fabric, it is a little um, bit sheer. So again, it's something to bear in mind um, with the type of project and whether you'd want to line the your project with it oh I mean line the actual fabric um, so it's got this gorgeous light blue background and then it's covered in this floral design that's like almost like blossom it's with that sort of color of blossom as well which is very pretty there's my hand there for scale and then it's got the shadows of the um, plant as well behind it which is very very different, a bit unique, it's not something I normally see. Sorry, that's Rose in the background, but she's not on her own, Celia's with her. And we thought it would work really well as a blouse for the spring summer months. And the blouse we picked out today pattern is the Nina Lee Park Lane. And if you wanted, you could make the dress version would work really well as well. Just bear in mind, obviously it is lightweight and a little bit sheer. So I personally would, make the blouse and pair it with some shorts or some uh, underneath a pair of dungarees uh, for the spring months. So this is um, again another viscose for you. This has got um, a texture and feel as like a viscose lawn but it's a bit heavier than um, your average viscose lawn but again lighter than a viscose twill. It is completely opaque and like all our viscoses, it's got a really lovely um, fluid movement and drape. You'll hear Rose in the background because she's now awake and she's playing. Um, so it's got this really beautiful, almost like a green tealy coloured background. And then it's covered in this really, I really love this kind of rich pinks um, in there with floral design. And then it's got these really cute little cottage print as well and also some little birds as well peeping through so it's got a lot of different elements which I think you would see different things every time you looked at it it's quite a large scale print um, and obviously it, as you can see it is directional now it's quite a busy print and I know some of you would feel quite happy making a dress out of this but we were trying to think of um, a, a, like a garment that we'd wear this print with and also we were trying to like look to like what the high street and different kind of things that would work so we picked out um, a skirt pattern and we picked out the Fiore um, skirt by Closet Core Patterns and we thought the wrap style skirt would be the best one to go for just because it wouldn't break up the print as much with the button placket through the middle. And the girls told me about the new um, Zoe top, which is like a tank top from True Bias. It's a really lovely basic um, top pattern, really good for the spring summer months. And we thought like pairing that top with this skirt would look really well and these colours here which are our derby ribbed um, beautiful tensile jersey fabrics from Meat Milk in these two colourways would work really well with 
this fabric just because it kind of picks out the pinks, the dark pinks and the lighter pinks wow. tones throughout the fabric. So that would make a complete outfit which I think would work really beautifully for the spring summer months and again you could transition it quite happily and well throughout to autumn. This is from a really like high end ex designer um, and I think you can really tell from just kind of the printed design on the fabric it's really really eye catching. So this is a viscose crepe so it's got that really lovely crepe like texture from the way it's been woven and as you can see it's a really beautiful deep bright pink colour and Celia was telling us that quite a lot of like high-end designers have been using this colour in quite a lot of their most recent collections so we're really excited to have a bit of um, some of the ex-designer fabric in with this colourway and I love the um, big bold floral design and the kind of like very artistic look with the black um, kind of stripes which the stems of the flowers flowing through it. It is very slightly sheer but again I personally wouldn't line it. It's lovely and lightweight and has a beautiful drape. Again this fabric would work really well for making yourself something um, for a special event over the summer period but also I'd wear it quite happily um, throughout the day and the team really could see like a caftan made out of um, this fabric and we therefore picked out the um, Charlie caftan by Closet Core Patterns. I really think the full length one would look incredible in this fabric. Um, yeah, it would look really, really pretty. It would be amazing for wearing um, on holiday or just out and about when it's lovely and warm, hopefully, this summer. So this is again a viscose crepe, so it's got that classic crepe like texture from how it's been woven. It's got this really pretty lilac um, coloured background and then can you see it's covered in this beautiful animal, different animals. I was saying it reminds me of um, kind of just going to London Zoo, obviously some of the animals here aren't in London Zoo but there's so many different animals on here, you've got tigers, polar bears, giraffes, wolves, rhinos, um, butterflies, octopi, whales, yeah there's so many different animals on here so if you're really big, a big fan of uh, animals then this pr fabric is definitely one for you. Um, obviously it's quite a busy um, print and it is directional so we thought like something like a little cami top would work really well for it because then you could pair it with again with um, some high waisted jeans or um, some crop trousers for the summer and it would look really fun it would definitely be a good conversational piece so we pulled out a good old classic which is the Ogden cami from True Bias think it would work really well and obviously you don't need much fabric to make um, the Ogden cami as well so yeah it would look really really fun and I definitely would be um, getting lots and lots of comments I'm sure when you wore it it's really really pretty. This is again a viscose crepe so it's got that classic um, crepe like texture it's got this really lovely dark blue coloured background. Um, this I would say is basically opaque and it's got a directional print, it's got really pretty floral design and then covered in this bird design. Now it's it is very similar to um, a, the famous William Morris print. Obviously this isn't William Morris, it's obviously just been heavily influenced by the designer that used um, that had this fabric made. It's it's kind of like more of a modern take on it actually. The birds are actually quite big, there's my hand there for scale. Just think it's really pretty. The fabric, the viscose fabric, has a, almost like a silk-like handle to it as well. It's got a beautiful fluid drape um, and I 100% would make a dress out of this fabric and I think it would transition really well throughout all the different um, seasons because you could just pair it with tights or and a jacket or a cardigan or wear it without tights and a jacket for when it's a bit warmer. So the dress that girls picked out today 
is the um, Hughes dress by Friday Pattern Company. It's a really lovely dress pattern. Um, nice classic um, day dress, but again can be dressed up um, for evening wear. And I just think this fabric works would work really well with this particular pattern. This is a visco satin. So because of the satin weave, it's got a really soft, smooth texture on the right side of the fabric. It's got a beautiful um, light pink colour and then it's covered in these fishes which I just think is really fun and it's like almost like a very bright lime greeny um, design with the fish drawings all over it. I just think it's really fun, very unusual, not something that you would normally see, very kind of like high-end designer look to it. Um, it'd be amazing for when it's warmer weather out there um, and I 100% would wear, wear a dress in it and the team really could see it being made up into the saltwater slip by Friday Pattern Company and like obviously if it was really warm you could just wear it on its own or you could wear a little like tee underneath and it would work really beautifully and like I said it's just the, the print is just so fun um, and just to give you an idea of the scale because it is quite a big print that's my hand there for um, a bit of scale for you and obviously it is a directional print it's completely opaque so you wouldn't have to worry about lining the fabric at all it's just so fun <laughs> So this is the only non-viscose that is in this most recent X designer dead stock collection we're putting on the website. So this is a beautiful cotton lawn. It's got obviously what you'd expect with a cotton lawn. It's got a little bit of drape to it, but obviously it's slight, it's more structured than what you'd find with a viscose. Um, because it's cotton it's lovely and breathable and it does actually set, have printed on the um, selvage that it's Urquitex 100 standard certified um, so um, more kind of like um, friendly inks have been used um, to, to make the print of the fabric it's got this really beautiful like rusty red orange background and then covered in this really kind of small Oh, Rose is just throwing her toys on the floor. Small um, floral design all over it. Again, there's my hand there for scale. Now it does have some direct, a bit of a directional print, but I think you could get away with not following a direction. It's really pretty. Again, this fabric would transition really well th um, throughout the seasons for your wardrobe. And it's completely opaque as well. Because of the quality, it's such a high quality cotton, I think it would be perfect to make yourself a shirt or a blouse. And the team all thought that the um, patina blouse by Friday Pattern Company would work really well. So the, um, the collar would lend itself really well to this kind of structured um, cotton lawn fabric. It would work perfectly for it. And it, I would wear it underneath dungarees, like I normally wear dungarees a lot or um, pair it with some high-waisted trousers or jeans and it would work really lovely as a nice garment. Um, yeah, it's really pretty, lovely colours running through it. So that's it from me, Rose and the rest of the team in the office today. Thank you so much for watching. Yes, you're saying thank you. And um, I hope that you love the fabrics as much as we all do at Sew Me Sunshine. Like I said, we really, really get excited when there's um, X designer fabrics, new ones arrive in the studio and we love picking them out to make little collections to go live on the website for you. I really hope that you like them all. Let us know below which one's your favourite and what you're hoping to make with it. Um, it goes without saying with whenever it is X design or dead stock fabrics what we have is all we have so whatever's on the website apart from like maybe a remnant at the end once it's gone we won't be able to re-get them <laughs> back in stock again so if you like something my advice would be to try and get it I always get messages saying oh I missed out and I'm really sorry but we have a limited um, stock available uh, but they're all really really special um, a few of you asked to see Rose, so that's why I've got her for you. Here she is, she's now seven months old and she's, she's getting used to being in the studio a little bit and the team have been great with her. Like I said last week, they're all her aunties. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Bye! <laughs>